To illustrate the difference between a vector field and a direction field, let's look at an example of a vector field f of x, y is equal to 3x minus 2y and x plus y. We could think of a differential system. dx dt is 3x minus 2y and dy dt is x plus y. So these create a vector at every point in the plane. And if I was to draw the vector at true length, I would create a tangled mess of vectors on this page. So what the computer demonstrates for me here is a scaled vector plot, where the vector's directions are indicated truly at each point, but the lengths of each vector is scaled so that the vectors here are a certain number of times larger than the vectors near the origin. So this shows me the magnitude of the vector field at different places in this patch of the plane. But it's hard to see the direction somewhat near the origin here. If I tell the computer to not include this magnitude information, I get a direction field. So here's the same field, same vector field, but the magnitudes of the vectors have been stripped away. And so now I see the flow of the field a little more clearly. So usually when we're going to analyze systems, linear systems or otherwise, it's the direction field that's going to be sufficient, useful to us.